Hi, in this video I will explain gravitational field strength and how it can be calculated. In a previous video I demonstrated how we can draw field lines to represent the strength of a gravitational field. As these radial lines spread out away from a body, the gravitational field strength decreases. But what is gravitational field strength and how can we calculate it? Gravitational field strength at a point in space is simply the force exerted per unit mass placed at that point. In other words, it represents the force that a one kilogram mass would experience at a given location in a gravitational field. We can simply write this as G equals F divided by M. In fact, you've probably been using this equation for years to solve mechanics problems. The unit for gravitational field strength is newtons per kilogram, but this is equivalent to meters per second squared. So a gravitational field strength also represents the acceleration experienced by a body placed in a gravitational field. If g equals f divided by m, we can apply this to Newton's law of gravitation introduced in the previous video. f, the force, is equal to big G, the universal gravitational constant, multiplied by the large mass multiplied by the smaller mass in this case this is going to be the test mass that we're dividing by divided by the square of the separation between those masses if we divide through by by little m by the test mass we will get g equals big g m divided by r squared where m here is the mass of the body that we are interested in the gravitational field of so let's calculate the gravitational field strength on the Earth's surface. To calculate this, we need to know the mass of the Earth, 5.97 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. We need to know the radius of the Earth, so in other words, the distance from the centre of the Earth to the surface of the Earth, so that's 6.37 times 10 to the power of 6 meters and of course we'll need to use big G 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 so substituting those into our into our equation we can find the gravitational field strength which gives us a value of 9.81 newtons per kilogram but of course you already knew that a quick note, gravitational field strength is a vector, so if you're asked to calculate the gravitational field strength due to multiple gravitational fields, you need to work each one out separately using the mass and the distance from each planet, and then combine them as vectors. Before we finish, let's briefly consider how the gravitational field strength varies with distance from the Earth. If we plot a graph of G against R, it'll look something like this as we move away from the Earth's surface decreasing according to the inverse square law. Note that capital R here is the surface of the Earth. So zero here would be the centre of the Earth. If we double the distance from the centre of the Earth, the field strength should decrease to about a quarter of its original value. But how does the field strength vary inside the Earth? Well, you might expect it to get stronger as we head towards the Earth's centre. That would make sense since R would be decreasing. However, the mass between us and the centre of the Earth is actually getting smaller until it's eventually zero in the centre of the Earth. We can prove this by using the equations for density and volume of a sphere to replace M in the gravitational field strength equation. Eventually the R squared is cancelled, leaving us with G is proportional to R when we're inside the Earth where the Earth's density is assumed to be uniform. This means that we have a linear decrease as R decreases. 